This video is made possible by the EA Game Changer program. What's up guys and welcome to another MHD video and we're going through Madden 2020 again and this time we're going to be showing off one of the new features they have in the game which is the face of the franchise. Now I'm not going to show you too much I'm just going to kind of show you the start here because I don't want to really spoil how everything goes but it's really really cool here. Uh, you can kind of see this cutscene here you'll go through a little cutscene starting at the college of your choice. You'll go through an in-depth customization where you get to elect how you look make all the likenesses that you like and you'll see there's quite a bit there that you can actually do but I want to go through it show you guys a few things and then show you at the very end something that's really cool that's a really nice added touch when you're going through the combine and you're actually going through interviews I'm gonna put that at the end of the video but it's really awesome I really enjoy how they've done this and kind of given you a little bit of a throwback to NCAA football but I hope you guys enjoy remember when in doubt blow it up Guys, I just want to thank my teammates, especially my O-line. Uh, without them, this opportunity wouldn't be possible. I want to take a moment to thank all the coaches who helped me along the way. It's because of them that I have the opportunity to play at the next level. I want to thank everyone for showing up today. It's because of all you guys that I'm even in this position right now. Look, guys, I just want to thank my teammates, especially my O-line. Uh, without them... Th hey, don't forget to thank your mom. Never forget to thank your mom. Mike, tell me where you're going to be signing. Actually, it's why I'm hiding in here. Well, I know you'll make the right choice. And if you need any advice, I'm always here. Okay, cool. Uh... Thanks, man. Yeah, anytime. Actually, I've been meaning to run into you. Hello? Hello? Who's it gonna be? Okay, okay.
Michigan's star starting quarterback out. They're turning to a kid who's never taken a snap in college, not one. Look, their game plan isn't complicated. Drop back, scan the field, and throw it to Isaiah Street. That's what got them to the college football playoff, and that's what's gonna keep them in this game. Drop back, scan, and throw. We're not sure the new kid could do any of these things. Don't you think that's a little harsh, Nate? Four years ago, he was a five-star recruit. They had high hopes for this dude. Uh, doesn't that say something right there? What happened to that trust? Coach, you wanted to see me. Come in. I want you to be the first to know that Marcus Washington decommitted last night, and he's coming here. What? That doesn't make any sense. You said I was gonna be the starter. He's the number one recruit in the country, son. And there's no guarantees in college football. I'm sorry. I'm not going anywhere. Bring him in. I'll win the job. Just wait. If you're the coach, how do you let five-star talent waste away on the bench for this long? No, no, no. Better question is, if you're a young five-star recruit, why do you stay with a coach that doesn't play you? Because he's got something to prove. Yeah, to who? To that coaching staff, man. I mean, the same group of guys who spent the last four years telling him you're not good enough, he's got to prove it to those guys. Yeah, take this. All right, gentlemen, like Coach and I always say, Second you step off this bus, you're on a business trip. So we got a lot of work to do, so let's get to it. Oh, you ask me, you're the guy to get it done. Hey, Jojo. <laughs> Who's we? I did. Yes. <laughs> Glad you noticed. Hey, boy. Game day, baby, game day. Get in there. Whoa, hey. whoa, whoa, whoa. The event staff is around the corner, you see. Mm -hmm. Hey, babe, go on in there. Uh -huh. Uh, this is for players and coaches only. I'm here to play Clemson. What? The Tigers, yeah. You? Okay. What's your name? That's me. That's you? Yeah. Well, I don't know who you are, but uh, go ahead. I'm the quarterback. What? Yeah. Mm. Uh, excuse me. You're the quarterback, right? Yeah. Oh, don't look so surprised. Uh, it's my job to know the roster. I'm Taylor Bennett. I'm working the sidelines tonight. OK, cool. Nice <laughs> to meet you. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? OK. OK, I'm just going to record them. OK. All right. So we all know your situation tonight but we really don't know much about you as a quarterback. How would you describe your style of play? Oh, um, well, I, oh man. Hey, what's up, man? I like to keep the defense guessing. You know, if there's a lane, I'll find it and go. Okay. Now, how about your personality? Or better yet, how would your teammates describe you? How would my teammates describe me? Yeah, were you intense, you were cutthroat, a great leader, a jokester? Give me something. You know what? I'm kind of a film junkie. I like to lead by example in that way, so... <laughs> People would joke that I was like a mini-me of the coach. <laughs> okay. Yo, Taylor. Hey, can I borrow him for a second? Oh, yeah. Cool. Wait, hold up. You're a Heisman voter, right? Hey, I'm coming for that award next year. Look out for me. 
Oh, I will. Okay. <laughs> All right, listen. You ready, right? Yeah, man. Yeah? Because winning the national championship means everything to me. All right, I made a promise to my brother. And since I can't throw the ball to myself, we need to be on the same page, you feel me? Well, I got you, man. I got you. All right. Snap at a college football game until nine days ago. They are the national champions. Ladies and gentlemen, please turn your attention to the podium at midfield for the presentation of the College Football Playoff National Championship Trophy as we present your College Football National Champions. The Texas Tech Red Raiders. Jack Ford. College football season's wrapped up and the draft is two months away. Today we kick off the NFL Scouting Combine. Over the next seven days, more than 300 college prospects will run, jump, catch, and throw for NFL coaches and scouts. Kyle, who's your player to watch? Okay, it's the mythical backup quarterback who just won a national championship. This guy who's played in two games. Two games, and we're saying maybe a third-round pick? Come on, the hype is unreal. God, he did win a national championship. Yes, he did. It was incredible. Peter, eight quarters of football, third-round pick. Get out of here. If he blows up the combine like some people expect, uh -huh. he could be a first-round draft No way. Pick. No, Nate, no way. Listen, this isn't a particularly strong draft class for the quarterback position. And you know when that happens, teams get desperate for that QB, and they start to reach a little bit. Guess we'll find out soon. Yes, I hear you, and I've been hearing you for the last 15 minutes. I'm on top of it. How many times do you need to... Yes, I'm on top of it. I'm meeting with... I've got a few other guys to meet this week, and then I know that there's a time restraint. I understand that. Thanks for taking the time to meet me. Yes. Well, I, I know what he wants. I understand what he wants. He's told me what he wants. You don't have to tell me what he wants as well, okay? okay. Just, can you hold on for a second? Okay, but Thank I don't you. Have a long no, just time. be quiet. I take any of the other top quarterbacks available, and I get praise, and I get to keep my job. Hmm? I pick you, <laughs> a player that barely even picked up a ball in college, and then uh, I'm nuts. And the seat that I've got to sit on gets red hot. So why don't you tell me why you should even be on my radar? I just won a national championship. And that's not the last trophy I plan to have on my mantle. You pick me, you better clear your shelf for some hardware. Hey, I'm gonna have to call you back. Call back yes, I'll have to call you back. Hey, I, I love you too, Dad. Bye. Are you for real? You know, you and I have a mutual friend, Mr. Jack Ford. He and I served on the same staff in St. Louis. What do you think he would have to say about your ability to uh, lead a locker room? Navigating a locker room can be tricky. I do my best. I try to find a balance between being the locker room guy and then the guy that the coaches can rely on to get the team bought in. But it's hard. You know, Jack had some concerns about your leadership, but I'm not seeing that. Little inside scoop, uh, the owner wants someone with the measurables. So you go out there and you impress. You'll be on our radar. I can do that. Don't let me down. Thank you. Hand over your phone. I want to check your internet history. You want me to give you my phone? Is that just like normal procedure? You bet it is. You just give anyone your phone? If someone asks for your playbook, would you give them that too? 
No? What? What? You have something to hide? Look, son. This interview is about transparency. I think I'm being quite transparent. Not transparent enough. You're on a mountain in Alaska on a bus going 100 miles an hour. Where are you sitting on the bus? Bus in Alaska. Well, back of the bus. Back of the bus? Why? I can help people escape out the back. Are leaders in the front of the bus, the middle of the bus, or the back of the bus? Leaders are where they need to be. Interesting answer. I figure back of the bus, saving people makes me look selfless. It shows that I'm a team player. Good answer. <laughs>